about three weeks ago, I cut cable. I couldn't stand the bill anymore. There wasn't anything on TV. I really wasn't watching any TV. And I've heard great things about going old school antenna on the roof. So I shopped around and I've been looking at this one company called Mohu, M-O-H-U. Go to Amazon and just do a search for Mohu the Leaf. The Leaf is an antenna for one TV. It looks like a mouse pad. I'm not getting paid for this, by the way. I'm just trying to steer you guys in the right direction. It's amazing. So I got um, the advanced one. It goes on your roof or it can go in your attic. And I'm gonna show you a video on that now, how I install it, what I do. Basically, I have an extra $100 a month in my pocket. I have pure HD 62 channels over the air from the major networks. So you're gonna say, well, what if I'm not home and I wanna watch a show? I have nothing to record with. I've got uh, Hulu, and Hulu is basically TV shows, whereas Netflix is uh, movies. And Hulu, I gotta tell you, is outstanding. It's seven bucks a month, and it's, it's awesome. I think there's like all shows that we watch on Hulu, and the nice thing is most shows go back to season one, episode one. So for example, one of my favorite shows is Community. They've got all seasons, all episodes. But what happens if your shows are not on Hulu? What do you do? Well, I have an Apple TV in the living room, and an, an Apple TV, for those of you who don't know, is nothing more than a little box by Apple. It connects to your HDMI port of your TV, and it's got a wireless card in it. It talks to the Wi-Fi in your house, and it phones home to Apple talking directly to your iTunes account. So any music that you buy from iTunes or uh, movies or TV shows, you can stream it right onto your TV. It's awesome. So for my kids as an example, SpongeBob is on Hulu, but due to contractual obligations with certain networks, Hulu can only show a few episodes every month. So that's not enough for them. So I bought a season one of SpongeBob for like 14 bucks. So we've got like 16 episodes of Spongebob for 14 bucks. They're watching it right now. Hulu is great for the TV shows you cannot get on regular TV. I'll get HD channels and I'll get uncompressed HD which means true HD because HD channels by your cable company that they're charging big money for they're actually compressed and they're sharing, you are sharing the bandwidth with everybody else. So you're actually getting 720 resolution, not 1080, which is HD. I will be getting a handful of channels in pure HD, 1080, uncompressed. Sweet. For free. Not one house phone in this house. Not one. We only use our cell phones. Why do you need a house phone? I'm sure you got some reasons, but if you're not using it, and people call your cell phone, get rid of it. So in the box, it comes with a 30-foot coax cable and a mounting bracket. The mounting bracket's going to go on this like so. I might just zip tie it to the uh, DirecTV satellite. It also has power, so what you're going to do is technically you would take this 30-foot cable, connect it to the end of this, all right? And on the other end, <clears throat> you're going to connect this power adapter. I'm sorry, the antenna to the TV. This is going to go here to power the thing. It's got a little USB it can plug right into your TV for power or I'm going to use this. It's going to plug into this and this is going to go into the AC obviously. I'm just going to mount the antenna up there using the same coax cable. The coax cable that's going into the basement from the dish, I'm just going to connect that to a coax powered splitter that I have which is going to go into all the rooms and I'll show you that. Then all the TVs should have pure HD free TV and I will use the Apple TV to stream Hulu off our main TV in the living room. It's going to be sweet. What you doing up there? You climbing you up your ladder? Yeah, I'm installing a, an antenna so we will know when the stormtroopers are coming. How about that? Yeah! Alright guys, so it looks like it's completed on the roof. I removed the dish. I kept this brace on here just because I didn't feel like patching up any holes in the roof. 
when it rains it's going to leak into the roof possibly i don't know whatever i'm just going to leave it because i really don't care um it had two braces mounted i took this brace off that used to be connected here and i used the brace for the antenna and with m my luck things don't line up but these actually lined up perfectly where these brace holes were so i just attached this brace that came with the antenna and there's the antenna it's pretty solid it's not going anywhere that's what she said i'm here all week tip your waitresses <laughs> and then what i did was i just zip tied it to the second brace you know just for some reinforcement so that's it i don't know if you can see this that's what it looks like the existing coax that goes down there into the box which goes into the basement and I'm gonna go to the splitter in the basement next and see how this works that's the coax box from direct TV that supplies the rooms up here is my powered coax box that I used to use when I had regular cable TV before I got the dish. I'm gonna remove that from direct TV or actually just unscrew the coaxes and use them. Plug them into the um, powered coax right there which is gonna feed the rooms. All right so basically the antenna is gonna plug into there it's gonna be split and it's gonna feed all the rooms in the house so we'll have live TV. So I'm doing a channel scan, and so far it's found 17 digital and 1 analog. Twenty-one digital, one analog, sweet. Twenty-four. Nice. Fifty digital channels found and one analog. And you guys can't really tell, but this picture looks awesome. Oh my god. You guys, the quality looks better than HD ever did. You can't really tell, but wow, it's clean. That's nice. And it's free. Any questions or comments, let me know. I highly recommend this antenna. Subscribe if you dig it.